Wanna know how I got these scars? It's a good reference to how my mental health is doing. Hey guys, it's Stuart. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome! Best episode to be traumatized by. Stay, like, comment, subscribe, smash all those buttons. If you are coming back here, did your therapist send you? Stockholm Syndrome, you're with me forever. What are we doing today? We are going to, to you know, like capitalize on the fact that I'm stressed and depressed, then make this transition, turn this. It's Frankenfurter. It actually came from Garrett Clayton. I can be quite generous. He is currently doing a production of the Rocky Horror Show, and he did this really cool transition. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot circus. Afro, da, 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 da. Then I was thinking, no one wants to see my bomb ass crappy, so terrible makeup skills. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the origin of Halloween. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Let me repeat that. Your Halloween is a Celtic pagan tradition, you heathen. <laughs> Going to church once a year for Santa presents. No. I'll tell you now, that stops here, boyo. I don't know where that came from. Um, See this. Whilst we do this, I probably will be watching something from Mr. Beast because that man is just an icon. And I just realized I haven't posted on YouTube. Over a month ago was the last time I posted on YouTube. Where did my September go? That's typically how the bullshit goes. Wake me up when September. <laughs> like I monetized for that. Okay, so I need to find a picture of what Frankenfurter actually looks like. That would be a smart place to start. <laughs> When in doubt, Google it out. It looks very easy. It probably is not, and I, I'm going to absolutely be very embarrassed. It wouldn't be a short video if I didn't make someone cringe, so hey. King Cringe is in the house. We're using a Mevron makeup palette, which I've been using for nearly two years now. Oh, oh, hold on. Now he wants to come in. Look at him. Yeah. No, show me love and affection. Come back. Yeah, okay, so I think everything's good. Uh, I'm, I'm literally just going to start because I... Happy birthday to you. Why? How about that? Okay, Jamba, I love you more. So what is trick-or-treating? It was offerings. It was offerings to the dead. You would give offerings not only to the evil and good spirits, but also to the fae. That does, doesn't look great. If you stand way back, it looks good. Originally, trick-or-treating was called mummy. And this is where people go around door to door, usually still kids. And they would, you know, celebrate, do dances, sing songs, uh, recite poetry in order to get the treats that people would leave out to appease the ghosts, the spirits, or the fairy folk. So, momming is what uh, trick-or-treating basically was. Another tradition that has lasted the test of time is um, jack-o'-lanterns. A jack-o'-lantern to most people nowadays is a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin carving. And this originated from Samhain. This originated from Celtic tradition, but we didn't really use pumpkins. We used um, turnips, potatoes, other root vegetables. They were seen as the lanterns to protect the house from evil spirits. But the story originated from this guy called Stingy Jack. And now this story, like any story through generations, will have deviations. And the story I know is Stingy Jack was currently in a pub one night and he was drinking and he got a drinking buddy. They were drinking all night and then all of a sudden it was revealed that Jack's drinking buddy was in fact the devil. Hey buddy, Jack tried to trick the devil and say, ah, uh, I have no money. Can you turn yourself into a coin to pay for our drink? And the devil, you know, just being and the devil just being the cool guy that he is said, yeah, sure. Why not? So the devil turned himself into a coin and Jack took the coin and put it into his pocket. And the devil was like, yo, bro, leave me out, leave me out. 
And Jack was like, uh, no, not until you grant me my three wishes, rub the magic lamp. And the, <laughs> the devil was like, you know, I will grant you anything if you release me. So Jack said he wanted to live forever. And here's the thing. He released the devil, the devil turned back into himself, and he did. He granted Jack immortality, but he also granted him immortality without a soul. So this means that Jack could never die, and he could never go to heaven or purgatory or hell. He was stuck on the earth forever, and he was cursed to constantly carry around a lantern that would hold his soul. And Jack would have to try and find somewhere to place his soul so he could die. So everyone would have a jack-o'-lantern so that stingy Jack couldn't come into their house. That way, they were protected from him trying to steal their souls so he could go to the afterlife. This is going to go so wrong. I look like the hatter. I'm literally doing this for one video and then I'm taking it all off again. I look like your one from the Black Swan. What's her name? Nally Portman. Oh my god, I wish I looked like Nelly Portman. <laughs> the Irish term for Halloween is Iha Hauna. It means the Eve of Samhain. Samhain is the Irish word for November. It means um, the, the day before November. Lunasa is the end of summer. Samhain is the domination of dark and light. Start of the winter months. Samhain is also like massively in legends like the fire demon of Tara, Fionn Cool and his magical spear. It's an auspicious time in many respects. The, the traditions from Ireland are still very prevalent, even if like some of the names have changed. Because um, the year was split into the two, light and dark. Even though it's so westernized now. It's actually, it's more popular in places like Canada than it probably is in Ireland itself. It's, it's interesting, in fact, so many people don't know that um, Halloween started in Ireland. It, it also was actually the Irish Celtic um, pagan New Year's Eve. Lunasa being the end of the summer months and Samhain being the start of the winter months. So we would light many fires, uh, bonfires, because we were trying to help the sun finish its journey. Because the sun was getting weaker, hence why the days were a lot shorter. I'm going to ruin my makeup now with this. Came from Ireland. Because during this time, the spirits, good and bad, and the Fey folk could easily travel through the veil because it was so thin at this time and walk amongst the living. And to protect yourself, you would dress up in costumes. That way, evil spirits and the fey folk would not steal you and bring you back to either the underworld or the fairy realm. I don't know. It's what I got now. There's no way fakes in that. Oh my god. What did I do? It's very interesting because offerings given to the dead, you know, kind of like, um, is it Cinco de Milo? I'm probably going to get that wrong and I apologize if I do, but where you would bring food for the dead um, as an offering to them, even though they couldn't eat it. Think um, Harry Potter, do you know, uh, nearly had a snake having his um, death day. So it's like that. And the food would be eaten by the family in celebration. And then it would also be given to people less well off. I am absolutely ruining this, but it's what we got. I don't know why, don't judge me. It's a process, guys. It's a process. Blend it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Blend it. God. Now, we're going to talk about those pesky Christians. We're going to talk about those pesky Christians. Because when good old St. Patty, St. Patty boy, came over to Ireland, now, it obviously wasn't St. Patrick himself. Like, he didn't just see a bunch of pagans, you know, celebrating Samhain and go, I want that for me, Daddy. Daddy being God, not a priest. Christianity created All Saints Day, the 1st of November, based around the celebration of Samhain. 
And they're stealing our land and our women. Nice job, team. It's a process. It's a process. I think if I keep on putting on more, <laughs> it might make it look less horrifically bad. It's the eyebrows. The eyebrows are killing me right now. There we go. That's how we fix it. What the fuck? <laughs> now, fun fact. The Irish word for pumpkin is pumpkin. So, basically, the Americans can thank the Irish, you know, after you, after we emigrated over tea because, you know, we were being kicked out of our own country, for bringing Samhain to you. Y'all turned it into Halloween. And y'all gave us pumpkins and a lot better sweets because over here all we get are like, <laughs> we still, I still, no, I, I, I don't, I don't trick or treat or anything, but we still get like, um, not gonna lie, I'm not I'm not half distressed with it anymore. It's like it looks like crap. It looks like honest crap. We we can only do so much. We are we are out of our depth. Like being in a relationship. There, why you what he's doing? Bully. Why you bully me? How? Hold on bro. Oh I did have a black one. Oh and it's a I'm not gonna lie, I like it. What? I, I look out there, so like we did it. Halloween and Samhain, Iha, Hauna, everything is an amalgamation of like so many different traditions coming together. Now I just need to like get into the costume. That was easy. That looks like a penis. Just drew a set of bowels. Just like everything else I'm doing with my life, it's it's fixable. Gay! Boom! Ooh. Bam! Oh, bye! It looks terrible. I need to fix this because everything else is perfect. Everything else is something, but this is, this ain't it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It doesn't look that bad. I look more like the Joker than I do freaking. Ooh, I could just like, oh my God, I'm gonna do a Joker scene after this. Um, let's try and draw it on first. How'd you draw a love heart on? Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. I'm okay with that. God damn it, I just ruined it again. Okay, no, 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 you have to wait for this because the battery died in the camera, right? So I changed it. And then I just thought, you know what? Let's put on the rest of the costume and just see what it looks like. What? I'm either Frankenfurter or the last member of Case. I don't know, but either way, I am loving this look. All that time just to do this, to make one video to try and milk this. I don't like where this is going. So look, I hope this gave you some insight into the origins of Halloween, Samhain i Hauna, how it developed and became, you know, the tradition worldwide. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, darling. I don't know where I was going with that. Smash those buttons, it really helps in this universe. I hope I gave you some nice little nuggets of information that you probably didn't know. I'm just loving how much my chest is popping in this, I'm sorry.